be aware what. We'll be with you in 35 seconds. Uh, just remember, we've got in the description, there is a link where you can download the hidden costs reference for this so that you guys can see stuff. And when we're going to share it, it'll be a little bit tougher to read on the screen. So go and download that now. Welcome everyone, thank you for joining us, uh, 45D Weekly Live. I'm here with you this week, my name's Nick, and this is Anna. It is. This is Anna, <laughs> alright. Uh, I want to introduce Anna briefly, for those of you that don't know her, um, you may have seen a bunch of emails signed off uh, by Anna. <laughs> if you've been uh, talking with us and everything like that, oh, I've got double sound coming through on here, I've got to fix something on my computer. Um, Anna is part of our 45 degree sailing team. She's also um, Mahina's mother. And, um, <laughs> don't hold it against her. Don't hold it against her. Uh, it was a whole bit of a family unit here, so we're, we're running this all together. So uh, we're going to cut through to the, um, the cut scene at the moment, and then we're going to get right into this. I'm running. Something. Go yeah. back to Google. Is it in there? All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got to get this sorted. I've got to get this sorted. Every time I. It's just, oh, there we go, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Gaetan Bowl says, hi, um, there we go. Thank you very much. Gaetan's just booked a charter with mm -hmm. us, uh, I think. I think he confirmed today, actually. And I so, actually think we're looking at some of his boats. And we are going to look at today. one of the examples today yep. here as well. So um, thank you for joining us online there. Third time is a charm. Thank you very much, Mahina. <laughs> now, Anna you're going to just um, do an overview. I've got to figure out why I'm running double sound out of here. So you do an overview of what we're going to cover today in this Gee, thanks, live. Mate. Thank Let's you. Let's just get dumped into it. Okay, yeah. so today live, we're looking at hidden costs that you might encounter, or you probably will encounter when you do a charter here in Croatia. And why are we talking about this is mainly because this is one of the things that really gets mm. me when I'm looking for charters for our clients or friends, that there's so many things that you have to think about and people just don't think about them. Yeah, so. and, it's, and, and especially if you're navigating this for the first time, it can be really intimidating uh, and you don't want to make the wrong decision. You want to get all of these details correct so that you have a great charter. Sometimes it's not even about the money, just about getting the details Yeah, and it's right. just overwhelming. There's just so much information. It's super overwhelming and... You don't actually know what to expect. So we thought, okay, let's put a live together and let's start this Yeah. to show you what to look for. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're going to start first off um, by just saying that welcome to lives again. And the way these work, are uh, we're here, we're live from Croatia. We live here in Croatia. And we're going to go over this topic, which is our hidden costs. If you're here, please throw a comment in, say hello, uh, tell us where you're from. We'd love to know where you're watching from. And if you have comments or questions about what we're talking about, put them into the chat and when it's relevant or if, when I can, I will bring them up and answer those or we will address them at the end. Um, also, if for any reason we have bad sound or anything like that or I've Hello. screwed something up, just let us know because we we're kind of new to the, to the live streaming, being in front of the camera. Anyway, so let's so kick how off. How are we doing this today? How are we going to do this? We've got this fancy little setup like this um, and Anna's going to write down these things as we talk. We're just going to bring out the hidden costs. What are the hidden costs? And if um, <laughs> you're <just> time waiting for refill the gas, 
<laughs> I don't quite know what that means, but I mean, it could, could be anyway. Um, so we're going to go over these hidden costs. Um, and I probably would say here, hidden costs, um, they're... Costs. Yeah, because they're not really hidden, but they are. They're hidden, hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to get on to comparing apples with apples and all that. So, yeah. um, so costs that you're going to encounter on your charter. Um, so, shall I start off? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so like for me, the biggest hidden cost is what they call a charter pack. The most confusing yep. thing to, to navigate, yeah, is this charter pack. Because why? It comes in a lot of different forms. Yes, you come with it. They're called charter packs. They could be charter. called comfort packs. Comfort pack. um, we've had some other ones. There's been like, they have different levels of these, basic, advanced, things like that, um, luxury. They have then something they have called transit log. Transit log. You'll see that kicking around in your, um, in your offers for... Um, for this as well. So there's all these different names that are going to include certain things, okay? And no comfort pack, charter pack, <laughs> transit log is the same. Yeah. I've never found... I, no. We thought we'd found one the same during this research for the life. And no, there's no, no. no one the same. No. So what sort of costs can these include? Um, or what should they include? For every charter, you are going to want certain things. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, what do you look? This this is the uh, basic things that you should have. Yes. With your charter. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so we're, what are they? We're, we're going to go and hit through all of these. So we've got the outboard engine. This is one of the biggest contenders when it comes to is it included or is it not? Outboard engine for your tender. Okay, for the dinghy. Outboard engine. Um, okay, and then. The, you have to make sure there's a dinghy there. Okay, yes. And um yeah. and, and generally it is listed though it's hard to see. So the dinghy is for ninety-nine percent of charters in Croatia, you get a dinghy with every boat. When right. you get down to small 28, 32 foot, sometimes it's a bit different, but ninety-nine point nine percent of charters, a dinghy is included, but not necessarily the engine. And so in a comfort pack, if they say the outboard engine is included, you take it for granted. Yeah. Yeah. That there's a dinghy. Absolutely. And what goes with an outboard engine? Well, uh, fuel, fuel. <laughs> so we, we saw one of these was um, actually listed as said outboard engine loaded. Yeah. <laughs> loaded, yes. Yeah, so I think, so it should come full of fuel. If it's a uh, if it's a small two and a half horsepower, something like this, it's going to have a three liter tank or whatever, and it should come full of fuel. Um, and then most, most have an extra two or three, five liter can of fuel that goes with it. Um, if you've got an outboard engine that has a separate tank to that, then that, that's going to be full of um, fuel as well. So that is it. But when, um, okay, oh, well, this is not on yep, our notes. Okay. Can you just put in um, big catamaran outboard um, fuel? Because we didn't talk about this and that's something that's a bit different. Um, okay, cool. So going off the outboard engines, we've then got like um, towels. Yep. Okay, towels is the next biggest contender of included, not included, and comes up as an extra cost. And it could be towels or beach towels. Towels or beach towels, yep. yes. So they um, have that distinction. Gavin 152 is watching. Hi, and happy Friday, everyone. It's a happy Friday indeed, Gavin. Where's my drink? Cheers, everyone. It is Friday. Mm, you've gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gee, thanks. <laughs> Disregard. Okay, towels. Towels, um, beach towels. Beach towels. And then... Wi-Fi. Oh, you, what, what are you going to go to linen? Yeah, of course I'm going to go to linen. Towels, beach towels, linen. Yeah, okay, fine. Yep, we'll go fine. linen. Linen, which is bed linen, um, and could or not include kitchen, tea towels, stuff like this. All right. Um, we've also got, um, you already come in and said, um, when you return charter season, you can also take a few hours to wait in line if you didn't last day, which is refueling your boat. Yeah, so we'll get to that one as well. Um, it's down on our list. But um, uh, Wi-Fi, yes, this is a big thing these days. Most charter companies will offer or uh, for either for free or for a cost is wireless, and it's either a small little unit, uh, I don't have one next to me, um, or a built-in one to the boat, whatever it is. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Wi-Fi. So <laughs> the packs could also include what? Cockpit. Cock Cock <laughs> cushions. Okay. With the Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi is created equal either. Some of them are unlimited. Some of them are 10 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes for the week. So just be aware of that if you are a high usage. Um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get to those difference when we look at the comeback. Um, cockpit cushions. Is that what we're trying to say? <laughs> Cockpit cushions. Now, again, this is... Uh, oh, there are... Oh, Blair, Blair, straight in there with the lounging cushions. Bravo, bravo. He's been on a few 45D sailing charters. And Blair, to throw your next comment in, have you ever been on a yacht with us without those lounging cushions? Have you ever? So I'm curious about that. Anyway. Um, so a lounging cushions, 
cockpit cushions. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's two, two sets here. So you've got cockpit cushions, which are the cushions that might line the cockpit area and the seats in and around the helm station on a monohull or underneath the cover on a catamaran. These, these are cockpit cushions. Um, you've then got sun lounges or sun deck cushions or, um, yeah, like these. And on a monohull, these are generally under the boom uh, on the cabin top or forward of the mast, you might have a couple of sections there like that. So these, when you get to boats 55 foot and above, if the boat has these cushions, they're generally just included, they're part of that boat, particularly that boat. Some charter companies under 50 feet, 51 feet, or 51 feet and under, they are then optional extras. So your sun lounges for the week could cost you anywhere from 100 to 150 euros. And it's a real shame when you saw the pictures and that looked really nice, but you didn't think to tick the extra money on that one. Um, but then you also see the pictures, so you think... Next. So these are all the kind of things that should be or you should look at being included in these packs. Yes, yeah? absolutely. Um, then a couple of extras that are kind of going to come up. And then there's also, though, when we've looked, it's the diver. Because as a first-time charterer, you might not know, I don't need a diver. <laughs> you don't need a diver. I'm, I'm not going diving, all right? Um, uh, so the diver is the um, – actually, I'm going to leave that there. Someone yeah. throw down what we mean in the comments. Um, someone's chartered before and knows what the diver is. and Or if a new charterer doesn't know. Like, I want to hear that in the comments, and we'll, we'll circle back to it a little bit. So yeah. diver is often not listed or – Gosh, <laughs> I set this all up. Come on, I told you I should glue it down. Mahina, you were right. Um, so um, the diver. Then we've got tourist taxes. Okay, and th so these are usually separate. Yes, they, these are yep. these are nine hundred percent separate tourist um, taxes. We have got what we've talked about previously, but is always a bit confusing. Is that deposit insurance? Some okay, someone just said the sound went off when we didn't just now I've unmuted that on there. Thank you very much. One of my scenes had the sound off when I didn't play the notes. Thank you, Yuri. Um, okay, what was that one? So the deposit we've talked about that before, but often we have to look at deposit insurance to compare. Yes, so some comfort packs, charter packs, all this sort of thing, transit logs are starting to include they're pulling people into this package mm -hmm. to include deposit insurance. Now, if you haven't heard our um uh, if you haven't heard our live stream that we did on deposit insurance and um, what, what deposit insurance and deposit uh, <laughs> security deposits or yeah. uh, your damage waivers, um, like yeah, yeah, yeah you can either put down yeah. two grand yeah. or you can yeah, uh, we, I'll put that live stream. I'll ask Martin to put that in the comments so that you can see that after this. Um, but they're throwing that into the pack as well, though they're not being clear on yeah. exactly what, what it is. We're going to get into that. Yeah. All right. So um, those are a couple of things that you have to look at. Uh, for me, before when we're looking for clients, often is to check out pets, which yes. not which this come up this of, week. Yeah, 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 really come up with regards to pets. Yeah, we'll see that when we do it. We've yeah. also just had Gaetan um, come in. Diver inspection of any underwater damage or something. Absolutely, one hundred percent correct. So when you when you come back. Um, to the marina from your charter, you're going to check out. Um, next week's live stream is about check in and check out. Um, you're going to come back, and the diver has to inspect the boat to make sure there's no underwater damage, that you haven't got a whole raft of lines, one particular client stuck in your bow thruster. Um, you haven't done any underwater damage to the yacht. So the diver must go through. That diver costs money. It's diver from the marina, um, and it does all uh, that, that diver does all the boats. So that is exactly right. Um, Thank and again, it's much. something if you don't Get know, you don't know. Yeah, and it has to be done. So mm -hmm. it's 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 generally included, but not always listed. Thank you, Gator. Um, you guys just thrown in there uh, parking space if you arrive with a car, if you can find it. One hundred percent. That is another cost to consider. Um, yep, Gavin. I'll write that over here. Gavin agrees with you. Um, yeah, it can be very expensive. Like we're talking one hundred euros a week. Um, for that one there. So let's just throw that down as an extra. And it's something that is included in some and something that's not included. Yep. 
What was it? Okay, I'm, I'm curious to see that one. I didn't think parking was included. So, um, yeah, they're getting very creative. This is why, it's, look, we do this all the time, and then I'm, I'm saying, really? Okay, cool. So, um, what else are we putting on this list? Have we got anything else on this well, list? Well, this is right the main now? thing, and then we're just going to kind of compare it because a lot of these things, what's included or what's not included, you might have to buy or bring with you. Yes. So, like yes. for provisioning or the luggage you're bringing or all yes. of these sorts of things. We, uh, we one thing we haven't put on there is with the linen, are the beds made? Okay, so why are we thinking that one? Why are we thinking are the beds made? So um, we're thinking that because that happened to one of, uh, th this was always just assumed. Before last season, I had never chartered a yacht, been on a charter where I showed up mm -hmm. to the charter company having paid all this money and the sheets are just in a nice little package or in a plastic bag waiting for you to make your, excuse okay. me, make your own bed. Yeah. So we experienced that with a client um, um, last year, and I didn't, I didn't see it in any fight, but I just didn't see, I didn't know. So we yeah. now yeah. are ruthless on checking that one. Um, so beds made is not always included. And again, that's an assumption we made. It's an assumption because we made. that's what we're used to. But things change, and things have changed within the last couple of years. Yeah, quite quickly. Yeah, hundred percent. Blair's yeah. just throwing in also safety netting. Um, yeah, that's that's. We will see some of those come up on the thing, um, on the on the comparisons we're going to do shortly. So yeah, but they are the safety netting is another thing that you can put on, uh, on there. Okay, um, and Mahin has just put a link to the deposit insurance video in the in the live chat. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So um, moving on to so beds made um, and looking at what another thing I'd probably put in here too sorry I will go push you in no go for it go for it yeah was cleaning oh okay we're on the same page yeah, yeah so we yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're on this page um, <laughs> okay so yeah um because there's lots of versions of cleaning in these packages yeah interesting that so you know, so you're just saying normally you paid it extra yes is that for the beds being made now I'd be curious as to where yeah. generally you've charted in, in the fact that that's an extra cost because for me it's never never been an extra cost it's always been been included um yeah so um pay yes and, and probably that's a good point because that's where you want to make sure you're comparing apples with apples because yeah. you just don't know yeah 100%. and what the extra costs can be 100 percent. so then when we've got our cleaning products um this is what's going to sort of work into your provisioning thoughts around provisioning and what you're going to do because you might get some cleaning products um or they might have in this charter pack you might get this what's called a starter pack now, in the starter pack, you may have something as uh, simple as one roll of toilet paper per bathroom, yeah. um, a couple of rubbish bags, a dish sponge, and a, and, a, and a kitchen towel. Or a and some towel. of them outline it really, really well. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, so we're going to get into that into that very yeah. shortly. So that's what we've got. Um, yes. Okay. Cleaning. Cleaning. I'll show you. Excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. Where to okay. now? Where to now? Let's show them. Let's show them. So if you haven't already downloaded, um, uh, I'm just going to go. We've got one more thing. So Mahin has just said, and maybe we have always had beds made because we work with select few, char few select charter companies. Yes, 100%. And this is part of what 45 Degree Sailing um, is is getting into with, um, see you, mate, uh, getting into with uh, helping you out with your charter is we're, we're going for the best all-round experience, and that is about going to the best charter companies that we think have good experience first because of these details. And have a lot of these things done for you because you arrive, you get off the plane, it's freaking hot here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go shopping, and the last thing you feel like doing is having to make your own bed. <laughs> yeah. And I guess in that hidden cost, again, one of those things is it's not just paying for your provisions, it is getting to the supermarket from wherever your um, charter base is to get those provisions and then getting to them to boat before they melt or whatever that might oh, be. Wow. Okay, so let's let's look into a bit of comparison. Yeah, we're going to go to, yep. go to some current comparison. Yep. Okay, so how do you identify, so I'll jump onto this thing. So we're going to go to how do you identify um, these differences and... And we're going to compare some actual... And how do they differ from charter companies to charter companies? So we'll compare different charter companies on similar boats. Yeah, and but it's also what a charterer would get. So we're going to, we're not comparing anything that as an agent we get no, extra. No, this, yeah. We want to compare exactly what you as a charterer would get 
to have you starting to think maybe a little bit differently. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go over to this this scene here. Now, which is the first one you want to look at? Anna? Okay, I wanna look at Aloysia. Aloysia, this is a Hansa 418. So if you've got the reference material, um, this will be one of the boats that is on that reference PDF, so you can, I can follow it on here. I will zoom on some of the pertinent facts, but um, I'm, we're just gonna sort of go through it. Uh, together like that. Okay, so um, Aloysia, and I might and just cover up. <laughs> cover up us. Cover up It'll us. Good. Yeah. Okay, so shall I just jump in here? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go okay, for it. so like on this one, if you look, they do have what's called a charter package. It's 270 euros, and they, what I liked about this one, that it was very detailed with regards to what Nick was talking about, your cleaning or your basic, your little kitchen pack that you get, because it's really clear. It says you get a rubbish bag, sponge, Two kitchen paper towels, dish soap, and toilet paper, one per head. Yeah. Just turn the sound. Oh, whose sound? I can't hear it. Okay, just technical difficulties, one moment. Um, we've got the sound is back. Sounds back. Okay. okay, okay, cool. Um, okay. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there, but we're, we're back. We've got sound again. Um, so on this one, I really liked how that was detailed out. Yeah. And yet... When you look at it, it has a charter package that says it's obligatory. Obligatory, obligatory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And yet it says then, we were talking about diving and cleaning. It says a basic pack is optional for 250 euros more per booking. Yep. But that includes the diving. The diving. And the cleaning. Yeah. yeah. So... But that isn't it. You that, have to have this. That, that, that's exactly right. And I think... Um, Part of, part of understanding this is that a lot of this is you've got to take this with a grain of salt. And I think I said this when we talked about booking through agents versus booking through online booking systems. This is only as good as the data that they put into the systems. And we've got another, um, if you yeah, like, if you stay till the end, we've got a really good comparison good of yeah. one of these things that you can receive, which is rubbish, absolutely terrible, and yet, what they give you in reality. At the end, at yeah. the end. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, so we'll still look at Eloise there. Um, so if you look at it, it looks quite good. The charter package for 270 looks okay, mm -hmm. but then you add 250 for the basic package because you have to have a diver. Yep. And then if you add 400, or the 400, take the 400 one, mm -hmm. that's only early check-in and that damage waiver insurance that's yeah. added. And I mean, 150 euros for an early check-in isn't absurd. Okay, that's that's sort of a it's sort of an early check-in um, sort of price anyway. Early check-ins are anywhere from one hundred and fifty to two hundred, three hundred. And yeah. sometimes it's not the price because I know as part of my job and what I do for our clients mm. is is just really it's confirming what you get and what you don't get. And so this then just opens up a whole lot of questions. Well, is the diver included or is this? And yeah. so that's what gets a bit overwhelming yeah. as opposed to always the money. Yeah. Yeah. Or no. then you might go and spend a whole lot more money and actually you don't get a lot extra. Yeah. Yeah. So to, for a bit of um, a bit of uh, context around this, I'm just trying to get this to be on the screen. Oh my gosh! Um, this view here. So if you go to an agent uh, that's accessing these systems, and, and if you come to us, this is how our original offer is going to come through. It's nothing fancy because it's pulling the information from the the big database of boats. This is how you might get the information, or even if it's a bit pretty up, this is the information you're going to get from that boat. Okay, this is not coming from the agency. It's coming from the charter company that's running that boat. They are responsible for inputting information on that boat. And you'll see on this one, if you can see my mouse here, which I think you can, uh, underneath the boat there, there's nothing written. Have a look in the different areas where they add more information. But basically, you've got your check-in, check-out cabins, and then selected services. Then you'll end up with all these optional services or additional equipment. And we're going to get into that, um, get into that. In a little bit. So, which one are we going for next? Number two is Amore. Uh, Amore. So this is Amore 40. Okay, Amore is the brand of yacht, like um, Bavaria Amore. It's actually a Croatian build. Uh, fast, fun to sail. Amore 40, Amore <laughs> 55. Oh, um, anyway, <laughs> so we've got the Amore 40 called Amore. And if you look at this one, so go back into those selected services, basically mm -hmm. the ones that you're obligated to take now this one looks in comparison to the other one huge yeah like it says basic fee 350 so that makes it um 80 euros more expensive than mm -hmm. the other one 
And yet when you look at it, it has water tank, fuel tank full, cooking gas, taxes and fees, 25% VAT. Now all of those... And includes final cleaning inside, inside and, and out. out. <laughs> And like, and it, yeah, we're going to fill up your water tank and your fuel tank. They make this, they think they make this look big, like it's some mm. big deal, and yet it's like, yeah, fill up the water tank, thank you. And yet, I've had boats; they didn't do that. And then on this <laughs> one, you go back to what you said before about tourist taxes. This yeah. one seems to include taxes <laughs> and fees. Taxes so and fees. It does not, not include tourist taxes. It does. I Nothing ever includes tourist taxes. I would guarantee that tourist taxes are paid at one euro thirty-three per person per day at the moment, so they can't include tourist taxes, knowing exactly how much it's going to be. It includes taxes, which is like just tax, and VAT, which is a fee. But I've got to show you something else on this one. On this I one? like this one. The same one? Yes. So go down the bottom of that little selected services part. And if you're oh, on a luxury service. boat, it says you get toilet paper. Oh, hang on, so selected services. Oh, for luxury for boats. luxury boats. <laughs> so if you have a luxury boat chosen, you get toilet paper in your basic fee. Is this a luxury boat? But so does that mean if you're not in a luxury boat, you don't get, you toilet, don't get paper. toilet paper? Is it a luxury boat? I don't know. How would we know that? I don't know. Herein lies the problem. Yeah. All and right. So that was it. So it kind of just gets more and more questions. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. What's the next one? So that's number two. Number three is. Get rid of that one. Uh, number three is going to be the Hansa four one eight. So another Hansa four one eight, but from a different charter company. Um, this one's from a, a, a place a little bit further north. Um, I've lost my number three. Lost your number three. Please. Okay. Well, I got it here. I got my number three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this was the one that I said looked small. This just looks small. <laughs> Sorry, just just on that before you go there. So yeah, that's what Gavin said. What qualifies as a luxury yeah. boat? <laughs> and they're not explaining this. And so how would you know? And then you get this back and forth with either your agent or to the charter company to figure out exactly what's going on. So it's just not clear. But this is the stuff that we mm -hmm. go out and say, okay, well I'm not going to send this off in the Gavin, offer to Gavin without knowing. <laughs> or if you get toilet paper. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, okay. And so going on to number three, this one looks real small. It just says bed linen, cleaning, towels, gas, check-in, check-out, basic package for toilet and kitchen. Done. But it does say basic package it does. for toilet and toilet, but you don't know what that means. And and no Wi-Fi. Doesn't say anything about Wi-Fi. No engine. Does it have it on Wi-Fi on additional services? No. No diver mentioned. No, none of what, none of the what we have in our list. No, it's got it's that list in the extra services. We've got the outboard engine. Got the outboard engine. We've got the beach towels. And, we've yeah. got, but on, we don't and, have yeah. a lot of other detail. No, there's just not mm -hmm. a lot of detail. And so when you put two eighty plus Wi Fi plus uh, the outboard engine and stuff, it yeah. actually matches the first one and. That was two seventy, or even the second one that's three fifty. Yeah. So yeah, we look at that one that comes in two seventy starter. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So. And so it's kind of com again coming back. Are we comparing apples with apples? Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go on to the next Hansa four one eight. Is that where we? we yep. yep. Okay. So then we went to this one. This one's called Estelle. If you've got it on the list. So this is. I, I, I like. I, I like this one. This one's funny. <laughs> Okay, go for it. This is quite a big charter company, actually, <laughs> and um, and this and is and it really... is one we do use. Yeah, yeah, we use it. I mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just about being aware. So let's look at this um, this charter. <laughs> Sorry, Blair's just said every yacht is luxury. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, this one's got charter packet two hundred and fifty, which is even lower. And mm -hmm. you're like, okay, this is interesting. Um, includes final cleaning, bed linen, towels, one set per person, and cooking, cooking gas. gas. Obligatory. It. That is it. All right. So really, really small comfort pack. A lower price than some of the others, but then you might. So basically, if you're looking at your charter at this point, you've come in and the boat is 2,691 euros for the week after a 10% discount. And then you go, right, well, then I need my 250 charter pack. Toito. And we're done. And then. And then. So if we just go back to those original ones, we add our outboard engine, mm -hmm. 100 euros. Yep. We add Wi-Fi, which is only 20 gigabytes. Yep. Oh, yeah. So 20 euros. If, if we look at additional equipment down here, 
Uh, no, is it additional equipment or is it? Yep, in, it's down the bottom additional equipment. Down the bottom additional yep. equipment. Um, oh, I've cut it off. Oh. Optional, oh, optional services. services. Yeah, I didn't think I'd cut that off. Um, well, they've got it on there. I'm um, reference one anyway. Oh, yes, Wi Fi internet, yeah. 20, 20 years for 20 gigabytes. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Yeah, anyway. Um, and there's not really. Uh, there's not really any option in that case once you go over your 20 gigabytes to do anything about to it. To do anything about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, carry on. Anna. And then going back to your Oops. what you said, cop pit cushions. Co oh, 30 I've euros. Just completely lost it. I'm, I'm, I've lost it. Hang on. There we go. Um, cockpit cushions. Yeah, 30 euros. This is just for cushions to sit on in the cockpit. So they do not include them. Yet the photos show them in there generally. Yeah. And so that's an extra without even thinking about fun things that's an extra 150 euros added to the 250 that's 400 euros for your basics yep which is then over all of the other ones we've looked at yes so that is an interesting thing to consider yeah so that's um yeah that's just yeah so those are the four main ones that we wanted to go up with that we've gone over because they were very similar size boat um, uh, timing timing because that's the thing one thing we haven't mentioned here um, and if you just go back to your pad and write this on the pad for me for a moment is your comfort pack charter log anything will change based on the size of your yacht so the same charter pack or comfort pack in a company that's running for a 42 foot yacht might be at 250 once you hit a 55 foot yacht, that could be 350 or 450. Once you hit a big luxury catamaran, that could be 500 or more. So just be very aware of that. All right, um, what qualifies as luxury boat? We did that, I don't know why it's up again, but that's cool, I'll remove it twice. Um, okay, uh, and I like that. Yeah, what qualifies luxury boat in Croatia? Money. <laughs> but they all cost money. And if you come in August, they're all massively expensive anyway. Like we um, said, to a lot of people, every yacht's a luxury. That's exactly so, right. All right, I need a refill. Do you want a refill? I ran out a long time. You did run out a long time. Okay, so in that, we're going we're gonna to carry on. And now that we're through comparing those bits, we've got a couple of other case. Um, Just a couple of ones that have a bit of a... Last piece. Something different. Yeah, something different in them, which is... Um, that made us think twice. Yeah, and we've actually come across now one of our... So we're always looking for new charter companies that we can say these are our preferred charter companies. Um, so when we find them, we're like going to really investigate so that we can go, okay, someone wants this boat. I happen to know that this charter company has one. I'm going to see if that's free before I even go through the others because we know the quality is up there. Do you know which um, is mine? I oh, know that, that's one yours. <laughs> that one's yours. Okay, Thank so you. cheers, 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 cheers. Jivali and Croatia. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't drink. Thanks. So let's look at a comparison on this as well. Okay, so this um, is number the, the four. Yeah, we're going to go with the four. If you have any questions, um, again, comments on that, please throw them into the comments. Um, if you're new to the stream and you've just come along, throw us throw in the comments. Tell us where you're from. Really keen to hear. What are you having? Um, <laughs> It involves Belvedere. <laughs> um, anyway, you can get me on live stream. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it in front of the camera. Anyway, um, so let's look at a comparison. We're going to do a, um, a comparison again here with the, this is a DeFour 390, okay? Uh, DeFour 390 with a particular charter company. Now, let's look at this charter pack. So this charter pack says it's free. Yeah. It's, um, it's, yeah, zero euros, free, doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't cost you anything. Oh my God, thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> and it includes what you get for free. It so does. it says, ready bed linen. made And they're made, oh my God, so, you yep. can get it. Yeah, so ready made beds. And as towels. Made, yeah, towels, cool. Wi-Fi. Does it list the towels? It says oh, 440 gram. 440 gram, gram which is um, 440 GSM, which is grams per square meter. Um, I mean, that's all right. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. And it's they're towels. Good. Yeah, they're and towels. It's two people. But at least you know. They're not saying, hey, you got a rubbish shelf. Sometimes people even put the size in. Anyway, yeah. sorry, carry on. One week. But yep. that's all for free. Wi Fi, 200 gigabytes. Yes. Cockpit cushions. But it doesn't mention anything about cleaning or the nope. kitchen pack or, nope. or whether you get toilet paper. Nope. And then it says transit log 240. 240. Euros. But then there's no. no it doesn't tell you what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of great. Um, thank you, thank you, Gavin. I also approve you. Um, yeah. So it doesn't tell you what it is. So this is a bit like 
you know. Well, so, how do you compare yeah. that to the ones we've looked at? Then yeah. It kind of doesn't fit. So you can imagine getting sent two offers by us or someone similar to us, mm -hmm. um, and let's say put this one up next to it, getting these two offers and going, okay, well, that's 280. I have to pay 280 for the transit log here, but it includes this. Here's my charter. You know, it's just like, it's it's just not an easy thing to straight away um, identify and uh, translate, you know, to interpret. But what's even funnier, funnier. <laughs> what's even funnier about this is all that information that you do not get here. Now, I was looking into this boat for someone, so I wanted to know. So in a case where you can, and as an agent, we can find out where that charter company is, we went to their website and... And that not everyone is able to do that. No, not everyone's able to do that, yeah. but this is why it's annoying that this information is in there. So let's let's yeah. get rid of this for a moment. Um, oh, no, that's giving another one, Nick. You're not doing it right. Um, and on their website, let's see if I can do this. We go down and we find this. Look at this. Every booking includes 200 gigabytes of weekly Wi-Fi, a dinghy, Outboard engine, not mentioned in any of the information on the offer. Cockpit cushions was mentioned, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and towels. 440 gram towels. And, and ready-made ready bed, bed linen. Bed but this is on every book and includes. But that information is not in the offer that you might get from an agent. So that's just, it's, it was like, okay, well, despite the way they wrote it, um, despite the way they wrote it in their, in their offer, yeah. in their description, um, it is actually still a really good, a really good option yeah. uh, and the charter company as it goes is a very good charter company so we got to know them a bit more and we, we learned more about what's included and we're able to tell people when they get an offer from that charter company is. this it's is actually what it includes and we can do that with confidence because we've used them before um, and and someone in the stream is actually renting from them this season <laughs> so thank you for uh, yeah okay and that. then finally if we just jump over to number six which just is one Lutka. second, we've got Euro on there. We've got um, transit log on average went up 50 to 100 euros or I'm wrong. Uh, I was watching for Beograde Air comparing last year. You are not wrong. Mm -hmm. um, over the past three years, transit logs, charter, this, this base one has gone up eight, oh, I was, was going to say 80%, that's not right. It's hey. gone up 20 to 50% um, in general. Like they just, every year, just keep going up. Or what we're seeing is they're packaging them differently. Yes. To try and keep prices down, yeah. they're starting to take things off. Yeah. yeah. So there's been a bit of both. It's not just prices going up. Sometimes they just cut services. And that's, again, what causes yeah. confusion. Or write extra things in, like yeah. filling yeah. your water tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go. Everything, here we go, Gavin. Everything went up by like 30 to 40% since last year, I feel. 100%. Yeah. Like yacht prices went up, uh, charter prices went up, comfort packs went up, and um, something that'll come up in, I don't think we've got a, mm, no. no. So um, a marina here in Trogia, Baltic Marina, is now charging an extra 80 euros for every single week chartered out of Baltic Marina. Good and, um, called a eco fee. Let me just find that yeah, one for you right now. Which scene am I on? Back it up, Nick. Come on, share. Um, let's have a look at this one. So if we go down here uh, into this this comfort pack, 80 euro electricity, water, recycling, garbage disposal, obligatory, marina eco fee, which is just a bit of a crock of... Something. <laughs> so... Yeah, it was a bit dumb. So just be be aware of this. And yet, we charter out of Baltic Marina basically every week. That's out. That's out. So that's just another cost we have to um, swallow and pass on to to our, our clients and our guests. Um, and the charter company has to pass it on because it's exactly. not there. So the charter like company's getting charged. Yeah, and as you already just said, um, but with the euro, they have uh, additional inflation. Yeah, we have all of this is coming in. So sailing's becoming that real luxury item again. It's kind of dipped for a little bit. But yeah, 100 in. <laughs> and that is. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. All right. Um, one more to show you here, which is this one here. Yep. Take it away, Anna. So this is the one. So you look at this one. This is one of the better yeah. written yeah. whole offers yeah. out, of, out of all of the, the charter companies. And they do. They write it really well. They say it's pay they tell you how you can pay for it. Mm -hmm. 
They give you your bed linen, your towels, your flannel cleaning, your diver check-in, check-out, gas in the kitchen, small startup kit, five litre fuel for outboard engine. And yeah, it's just, it's so detailed. They just tell yep. you exactly what you're going to get. And that is great. Um, is yet, this the one that said towels in the kitchen as well? No, no. I didn't. No, no. There was another one that actually said it includes a kitchen detail. Yeah. And yet again, if you're comparing, because if you've got some with, you're going to start yep. comparing this, 330 euros with something else, and you start thinking... Okay, but it's missing this, this, and this. Yeah, hundred percent. And you go right. Well, um, okay. What's and and then you'll look into additional in equipment and see what can I find here. I've got inflatable life jackets, beach towels at six yep. euros, um, and all, all these different things. Rail safety netting. Now, this is an interesting one because Blair brought this up earlier, mm -hmm. um, and he said, you know, what about this? Is a is a hidden, hidden cost? Here's this comment there. Um, well, safety hidden cost. Well, yes, it would on some companies. We've seen it range from twenty. Mm -hmm to 120 euros for the safety net. This particular charter company charges 50 euros for it. But if you install it, that's cut off at the bottom of my thing. If you install it yourself, it's free. Okay, because it does, it takes time. It takes about an hour to, to get the cable ties and clip it all on the safety net. This is netting that goes around your lifelines and your stays, stanchions uh, around the boat so that children don't fall out of the boat. It's more of a visual aid than anything, but um, it, it's, it's still, it's a... It's so you a, don't really need it. it it's a peace Not of mind for mum. Just put the kid in the water and drag him. Um, anyway, so um, now what we didn't talk about much here is this deposit insurance. Can it's, I just go back? Go back, Because yes. you're going to compare. Oh, go yeah, back yeah. to what? where you're supposed to compare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What am I doing? Looking over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Over here. You I, found this. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I did find this. Kind of me. But you're, you're, you're going to explain it. Okay. <laughs> and so what's missing out of here is the comfort pack. If you look over... Show them. To here. To here. Is the bow thruster. Bow thruster, <laughs> which is... Um, but the inverter on this particular boat is um, is a it's a portable inverter. So it is something they would charge extra for in certain places. But that also has an expensive coffee machine and... Cockpit cushions. Cockpit cushions. All right, Whereas, so they, these are included. But it doesn't say... Yeah, but it doesn't say... So, yeah, so it's just, it's just a little bit silly. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so um, that's kind of the comfort pack. That's the hidden cost. That's all the things that we would be looking at when we're comparing for our clients. Uh, for getting a charter here in yeah. Croatia. Um, yeah. And that last thing, you'll, you'll, you'll see what we talk about in the deposit insurance video if you haven't watched that yet. But as you can see here, these guys actually laid this out. Deposit insurance for this boat is 150 euros paid. You buy that insurance policy plus 150 euros. Now, they're not being as clear there, but, but in, that means the 150 is the extra bond you put down and you'll get it back given there's no damage. And if you look at the resources kit that we've sent you though, and you compare yes. all of them when it talks about deposit insurance, there is a huge range. And so mm. it's really, you really have to be clear on what you're asking for because deposit insurance in one of them, if I, have it, if I go back, one of them is 850 and it doesn't tell you that there's half refundable. And there yeah. might not be. Yeah, yeah. They it's... might not have one that's half refundable. Some yeah. don't tell you. They say pay two fifty, and they don't tell you you've got to pay another two fifty that's refundable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the actual range in those six examples we've given you in the reference pack, mm. can, you can see the big difference when it comes to hidden costs. When it comes to this, um, what is it called? Waiver insurance. Or deposit yes, insurance. Yes. So, and yeah. again, it has so many names. Yeah. And this is the difference. It's like, right, how do you want to spend your charter? Are you going in on a budget? You don't mind beds not being made, things like this. Um, and I mean, I've got a little shot here of um, why, like, when you, when you show up, being able to show up to a yacht that looks, looks like, like this and it feels like you're on holiday, like you've just gone into a hotel room, um, you know, and this is a really lovely one. They've got a little bit of a, um, a welcome pack there as well. Um, some juices out on the bench and things. Oh, there they are, lovely girls from 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 a charter company. But um, and then there was the sun lounges out front. That's a bigger boat. That's our premium tours boat. But that's all included. That's part of it. So arriving to that versus all right. I'm now mid August. Did this last year. Mid August, sweating, carrying bags. You want me to make my bed in this state? <laughs> I make might bed just make my bed with dirty yeah, sheets. Yeah. So um, yeah. Yeah. Did you make your bed at home? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You've got air conditioning. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, win win from Blair. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Gaytown's just throwing a big question down. I can't read it all. No, I can. Um, do you only have access to these kinds of descriptions or can you access some additional info as well as communicating with these charter companies? It looks like a guessing game to me. So, we're, this, is the, this is the stuff that we have access to as an agent, but this is what we send to our clients. So this is all of the information they're going to get. Now, 
That's and what they would get from anybody. That's what you get from, you should get all that information from any agent. You should get all that information from any agent. Um, caution, if you're not getting that information and prices seem exorbitant, they could be marking up extra services. It's not common. It's not that common, but out of country agents have sometimes, I've seen them do this, whereas they say, right, well, these extra fees come to 800 euros um, and you can have, and you get paddle, paddle boards and stuff like that. And they're just tacking on an extra 10% or something like that. Maybe as a handling fee, whatever they're doing. I'm not saying it's a, a bad thing. Just saying, be aware that could be the case. Um, but those are what you want to spend your money on, isn't it? Is your SUPs and your, and, and so that's yeah. the kind of thing you want to be able to think, um, I've got my yacht, I've got all my things I need, and then you look at the extras. But you've got to start now looking at those in-between extras yeah. to get if we, you on board. And see, if we send you an offer like this, it's got the, the hyperlink, is because you get this in the email, hyperlink is here. You click on this here or click see your details. That's going to take you to the online listings. It's going to show you all the extra photos. Um, and then you may have a couple of different options not, you can yeah, see, but not often, not there's not often anything extra other than photos. So that's that's the information you're going going to get. So um, in response to that, do you have access to these kind of descriptions? Um, you should have, you should have. It's just gonna, the booking sites like uh, Book a Boat, Click Boat, whatever it the is. Online that's, one. The online one. The online, they're yeah. sourcing all this information and displaying it. They choose how they're gonna display it in their API, uh, from, from the API. So yeah, that's one there. Um, what do we got here? Uh, we've got Gavin said, man, at some point they'll, they'll start charging extra for the <laughs> Do you want that yacht with a keel? You, are you going anywhere? What about the engine? If you turn the engine on, that's, that's okay, another thing. Okay, but then that also comes into, what if you have to stay at the marina? Remember you said there's oh, a cost. Oh, we didn't Remember? put that down. Yes. Okay, we've got to go back to this one. If, if this is still got Quick, 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 put it down. Um, so another thing here is out of the marina costs, and um, you know I meant this at the beginning, is fuel, refueling, and um, mm, docking yes. fees, of course, these are, these are all the things. But the marina fees, so it's the home base berth. This is the really important one, and I've seen this listed in different ways on different places. It's the home base berth. Can I move that? No, it's um, locked. I'll unlock that so we can actually see what Anna's oh, writing. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> the fuel, refueling, the home base berth. So what happens is... Some charter companies, the berth is paid for that boat. It's paid for all, all week, all year. So if you stay in the marina all week on your yacht, you have no extra charge. It's the home berth, so it's paid for. Some are saying only the first night and the last night is included in your charter. So if you're going to stay in your home marina any more than that, you have to arrange and pay for it with the marina, which is very likely not cheap. If your ACI split, it could be 100 euros a night. Uh, but it's the same thing, like, you know, the mainland big marinas, they're not cheap. So be aware of that one as well. Mm. Um, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a really yeah, good point. That was something we Really good point. We missed that one. We did. Um, I think that is the lot of it. It is. So, and we've been talking for a long time, 49 minutes. You guys give me... No, I won't go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's been a blast. Thank you, Anna, for staying up till stupid o'clock with me last night and preparing with this. Thank you, Mahina, for doing background links and everything like that. And um, thanks, Dad, for looking after baby. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Mike, <laughs> for looking after Rokura. Um, I just heard her say, "I'm, I'm about yeah. done with this, Dad." Yeah. <laughs> um, it's dinner time. Yeah, it's dinner time. So, um, and thank you for joining us, everyone there in the comments. Please, if you haven't already, um, like the video. I've only got one like on my video at the moment. So if I've still got 10 or 15 people watching, it's I'd love, things. love to throw you what. Yes, and so we got um, two in the morning <laughs> last night, uh, this morning, uh, while we were up working, all of a sudden I get a notification from YouTube and we got our first super thanks. Now, if you don't know what super thanks are, um, it's another way for creators to earn money. It's kind of like a, a bias, a beer type arrangement, but effectively on any of the shorts or the videos, you can hit buy super thanks. And I, I, I didn't even know how to be honest. No, we just um, got it. But we got a dollar. He said, hey, thanks for watching this video. And he gave us a dollar. Then he went off and, and watched another video and said, thanks, and gave us another dollar. So that was really cool. So if you did enjoy this and you'd like and to, you don't have to, and you don't have to at all, no, 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 don't have to all. Um, this is designed to. But now we get a buzz out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, if you want to throw a super thanks down, that we, we get a buzz out of that and we can buy a couple more coffees. Um, yeah, but effectively, if all of this, this is the sort of planning and. Um, and information we are going through to try to, to endeavor to find you the best charter. So if you come to us to book your Bearboat Charter, this is what we are here to do, is to navigate this for you.
And Nick wouldn't let me show you, but I no. can show Excel spreadsheet it. I'm not and showing Excel that. Excel spreadsheet Gosh, is no, amazing no. for this sort of thing. And I'm going to put in my 10 cents worth that says, <laughs> <laughs> this is my department, Nicholas. If you have any questions, ask, ask, and ask. Yeah. Just keep asking people, what does it include? Yeah. And this is Get where writing. Yeah. Um, the language barrier or the cultural barrier can kick in because yeah. these are the things that can either make or break the beginning of your charter. So check, check, and double check. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where it's at. And if you want us to take care of the, um, charter for you, as we said, this doesn't cost our, our work here doesn't cost you anything extra. Yeah, this is what um, we do. So if you book our chart and book your charter through us, as I said, we don't go for the cheapest, nastiest charters. We are looking for a high quality all round experience. If you want us to help navigate, help you navigate that, then that's what we do. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, six likes. Look at that. I asked and we get six <laughs> likes. I'm going to see if I get $6. Yeah. <laughs> Right, thank you guys. And uh, next week's live stream is check in and check out. What I happens? may not be in the trog here. I may be somewhere else in the country. So uh, I'll be coming to you live from wherever the hell that is. Uh, and that's talking about the check in and check out process, um, what to be aware of, best practices, and how you can avoid any sort of um, stings at the end um, uh, yeah, from damage or anything like that. So we talk about the check in and check out process. Thank you for joining. Uh, really appreciate you being here. Have we got a cool video to show at the end? I don't know. I'm lost with all my videos. I just organized the ones today. See you next Bye. time. Not see me next.